I was like, so I'm gonna get off the phone. <laughs> yeah, so, you know, like, um, when you get, um, we, I mean, sometimes we understand. I mean. So are the clear stitches the one that will um, dissolve? Mm-hmm. Okay. You okay? Yeah. And these little six things are stuck on there. I can't get this off. That's how it was. I tried a few times and me and my mom were just kind of like, just leave it alone. Let them do it. Ooh, that's nice. Sorry. Okay. Alright, we got the video working, huh? Yeah, my kids wanted to see, so Go I told them I'd record it for so, them. So, right here, you can just cut right there. Okay. Because they're a little stuck on there. Alrighty. All Thank right. you so much. Thank okay. you. I love the pizza socks. <laughs> I know. My friend got awesome. that for me. Excuse Ash, but they took out my sutures and gave me some more tape. I'll be in this brace for another month, but I can't return to work. Hey guys, today is September 20th. I had my follow-up appointment with my doctor in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Um, he removed all of my stitches and took the old tape off and then he put whatever this orange, this brown looking stuff is. He had a big old Q-tip dipped in some kind of brown liquid and he just wiped it on there and then placed this on here. He did tell me that I could um, stand up in the shower now and these can get wet. Um, he said I was healing pretty good. Um, he said the swelling didn't look so bad. I did ice it when I got home because um, it was kind of swollen today because I was sitting like this with my leg out in front of me um, the four hour trip up there and then the four hour trip back and then waiting in the lobby for the doctor to call me there was nowhere for me to prop up my um excuse me huh. sorry there was nowhere for me to prop up my foot so I think like you know the blood just went down and caused a little swelling but I didn't really get to look at it and yes, I am really hairy. I had to stop shaving 10 days before my surgery. So it's already been like probably over two weeks, probably two and a half weeks since the last time I shaved. But yeah, you can't really see. I do um, want to see what, you know, this stuff looks like. But I did ask if he was healing. If I did ask the doctor if you know my incisions and stuff were healing good and he said yes you know because that was something that we were worried about being that i am a type 1 diabetic and you know for diabetics it does take us longer to heal than other people but he said everything was looking really good um he did tell me he put his hand up like this and told me to you know lift my foot up and i just couldn't like right now i'm trying to lift it up and i can't um he told me I could put a pillow under it. So my mom has this, I call it a, a hot dog pillow, which I'm going to just put under my knee and just see how that feels. Um, hopefully I can start physical therapy this week or next week. He gave me the paperwork. Um, since I have this brace on, I can't drive, so i got to find a ride to um, the physical therapy building. <sighs> Sorry, I've been up since like 3 o'clock <laughs> this morning. Um, but yeah, um, it was itching really bad last night. So like when I went to the doctor, like it was super like ashy all around here. I did record that part cause I said that I was like, excuse the ash, but yeah, I did ice my knee. I think I already said that when we came home today from Albuquerque cause we left about 4.30 and we got home, um, like at 1.30 maybe but yeah it's been a long day 
I'm really tired. All right, so me and my son tried to put the hot dog pillow that I showed you, that one, that one right there, under my knee, and it was just too big. Um, it just, it was too much at one, so I just removed the brace, um, and I'm just kind of just letting it sit here. Like, I've been putting my hand under here. And kind of pushing up to see how much I could lift up my knee and it's not very much at all let's see that's how much I could lift it this is it relaxed so see now you don't see that little gap thing but I can't do it like without the help of my hand and I don't know if I said this in the other video before I cut it off. Um, he did say I could sleep without the brace if I wanted to. Um, I go back to Albuquerque October 26th, which would be six days, or it would be six weeks and six days. And when I go, excuse me, uh, he doesn't want me to have the crutches and he will be taking the brace. So I'll be happy for that because this is like... I mean, this is really soft, some kind of foam, I guess, but it gets really hot. Like, I don't like it. Like, looks just not comfortable. And then it goes, you know, all the way from, like, right here all the way down to my ankle. So, yeah, I don't like it. But, yeah, I'm just going to keep sitting here and, you know, massaging my knee like you can see it's like kind of it's puffy here and here yeah all that right there but it doesn't hurt right now it's just kind of it's kind of achy i guess is the right word to use for it, but it's not that bad but anyways i just thought i would show you that and i probably make a video later this week like of how i've been walking lately like i've been using either one crutch or no crutches if i don't have any crutches i just walk up against the wall um <laughs> damn sorry um i walk up with one hand up against the wall you know to help me balance myself or like i said i just use one crutch so maybe i'll record that this weekend or when my kids are at school, I don't know yet, but we'll see. But anyways, I'm going to just keep massaging my leg or whatever, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.